This is one more example for mathematical modeling of a translational system. But this time I will solve this problem using a block diagram. Let us make a first a list between the variable, the applied forces and their impedance. So we have elements, one is K1, B, M1, K2, M2, that is our list and the variables. As far as the K1 is concerned, we have two variables required. Out of that, one variable is X, other is ground. For B, we require two variables, that is one is X, other is ground. For M1, we require rigid body, so we require one variable, that would be X. K2, we require two, variable, one, two variables, one is X and other is Y. And M2, we require only one variable, that is equal to Y. Since force is applied F of T, so my first term is X1 T and second term will be y of t. Now our first equation is sum of impedance around x multiplied by x of s minus sum of impedance between x and y y of s equals to external force on x of s. Once we make this list it is very simple to write whenever you find only letter x wherever you find letter x all those elements are included in bracket. So k1 we have x here so impedance is k1 b has impedance of bs m1 has the impedance of m1 x K2 as the impedance of K2, M2 as the impedance, M2 will not appear because it has a when we are writing sum of impedance between X and Y, so you have to see there how many elements we have for which we have got X and Y both, so here we have only one that is K2, so therefore it is only one term K2 multiplied by Y of S equals to F of S. If I solve this equation for X of S, so what I get is F of S, this minus will become the plus K2 times Y of S and this whole term will become in denominator. So I rearrange this equation in this form. The advantage is that there are two signal and there is addition so this represents the summing point and this is one pure block so this is gain G. So we have a summing point and we have a block the output will be X of S. So I start with F of S. I start with F of S but I require plus K2 into Y of S. Somewhere I start with Y of S is to be multiplied by K2 so I introduce the block K k2 here and when k2 is multiplied to this I will fit this signal to the summing point having sign plus thus this block I have written inside this one so I, what is the result for here my result is f of s multiplied by k2 into y of s and then whole block is multiplied so I get the output here is equals to x of s so this output is x of s when the second equation we write between x and y that is a common element is equal to minus k2 and between sum of impedance around now when you are writing sum of impedance around y of s you have to check the list of y one is k2 one is m2 so we have impedance of k2 is k2 and m2 is m2 s square y of s let's solve this equation for y of s y of s is k2 upon m2 s square plus k2 multiplied by x of s so we can write this in again a block so if I write x of s is input then we have to write down k2 multiplied by into s square plus k2. Try to read like this x of s multiplied by this is equal to this. Now observe these two blocks. Here is output is x of x whereas the input of this one is x of s. Our system has the input is f of s so f of s then output is x of s then x of s second output and final output is y of s so this is here. So I will connect this block here that will complete my this block diagram this uh, given diagram into the block diagram now when I require here y of s my y of s is ready so I will connect this y of s to the requirement so we have y of s here I need a y of s in the previous diagram so I will require I will supply to y of s so my feedback is k is n by d form and numerator is k2 denominator is this product and feedback is k so numerator is uh, k2, denominator is this bracket uh, multiplied by this bracket, minus term because my feedback is positive feedback. So minus of and denominator multiplied by the feedback value. The numerator is uh, k2, the, uh, the feedback is k2. So this is this is final answer.